Write the equation of the line that passes through the point 2 comma 3 and is parallel to the line y equals 4x minus 3. How can we solve this problem? Well, in order to write the equation of the line, we need at least two things, the slope and the point. We already have the point. All we need to do is find a slope. And the formula that we're going to use in this video is the point slope formula y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. So the point 2 comma 3 gives us the value of x1 and y1. x1 is 2, y1 is 3. All we need to figure out is the slope of the line. Now, we could determine this from the fact that we're looking for a line that's parallel to the line 4x minus 3. So what do we know about two parallel lines? Two parallel lines have the same slope. If the slope of the first line is 1 and the other line is parallel to it, the second line will have the same slope. So the question is, what is the slope of this line? And that line is in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. m is the slope, b is the y-intercept. So we have y is equal to 4x minus 3. So we can clearly see that the slope is equal to 4. And because the lines are parallel, the slope of the line that we're trying to find also has, is also equal to 4. So remember, parallel lines have the same slope. So now that we have a point and a slope, we can now use this formula to write the equation of the line. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's replace y1 with 3, and then let's replace m with 4, and x1 with 2. So this right here is the equation in point-slope form. But let's get the equation in slope-intercept form. Let's solve for y. So let's distribute the 4. 4 times x is 4x. And then 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Next, let's add 3 to both sides of the equation. Negative 8 plus 3 is negative 5. So this is the answer. That is the equation of the line that passes through the point 2, 3, and it's parallel to the line y equals 4x minus 3. Let's think about it. We know that it's parallel to that line because these two lines have the same slope, as indicated by the term 4x. They both have a slope of 4. Now, this line contains the point 2, 3. If I were to replace x with 2, I would get a y value of 3. And we could check it. 4 times 2 minus 5. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 minus 5 is 3. As you can see, when x is equal to 2, we get a y value of 3. So it carries or contains the point 2 comma 3. So all the conditions are met with this particular answer. Now let's work on some other example problems. Here's another one. Write the equation of the line that passes through the point 3 comma negative 4 and is parallel to the line 2x minus 3y equals 6. So we have the point of interest, 3, negative 4. x1 is 3, y1 is negative 4. And we're going to use the same formula, the point-slope formula, to write the equation of the line. So we know x1 and y1. We need to find m. Now, we know that the lines are parallel, so the slopes of the two lines will be exactly the same. The question is, what is the slope of that line? Because it's not in slope-intercept form. It's not in y equals mx plus b form. But rather, it is in standard form. That is ax plus by equals c form. What we need to do if we want to calculate the slope, we need to change this equation from standard form to slope-intercept form. And the way we could do that is by solving for the y variable. If we can get the y variable by itself, it's going to be in slope-intercept form. So let's go ahead and do that. 
So let's rewrite the equation first. 2x minus 3y is equal to 6. Now, the first thing we're going to do is take the 2x and move it to the other side. It's positive on the left side, but it's going to be negative on the right side. It changes sign when you move from one side to the other. So we have negative 3y is equal to negative 2x plus 6. Next, to get y by itself, divide every term by negative 3. So these two negative signs will cancel. And we're going to have y is equal to positive 2 over 3x. And then 6 divided by negative 3, that's going to be negative 2. So now we have the equation in slope-intercept form. We can see that the y-intercept is negative 2, but the slope is the number in front of x, that's 2 over 3. And that is what we're looking for. So the slope of the line is going to be 2 over 3. Now we have everything that we need to plug in to that formula. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's replace y1 with negative 4. Let's replace m with 2 over 3 and x1 with 3. So the first thing we can do is change the two negative signs into a positive sign. A negative times a negative is equal to a positive. Now let's distribute the fraction. So we have 2 over 3 times x and then 2 over 3 times negative 3. If we multiply these two, th two things, the threes will cancel and we're going to get negative 2. Or you can see it this way. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 and 3 times 1 is 3. Negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2. Side the case, the threes cancel and you get the 2 with the negative sign in front of it. So this is what we now have. Our next step is to subtract both sides by 4. And so we get our answer in slope intercept form. y is equal to 2 over 3x minus 6. So because the lines are parallel, the slopes are the same. Now let's move on to our last question. Write the equation of the line that passes through the point 1 comma 2 and is perpendicular to the line y equals 3 over 5 times x minus 2. So we know that if two lines are parallel, the slopes are the same. Let's call this line A and line B. So when you see this symbol, it means that the two lines are parallel. Now what about if they're perpendicular? Let's say this is line A and this is line B. Perpendicular lines, they meet at right angles. There's a 90 degree angle between them. And we could represent that using this symbol. So if you were to see the symbol, it tells you that the two lines are perpendicular to each other. Now the key is to understand how their slopes are related to each other because the slopes are not the same. Let's say that the slope of line A is 5 over 4. And let's say it's positive because that line is going up. We could determine the slope of line B. If the slope of line A is positive 5 over 4, the slope of line B is going to be the negative reciprocal of that. We're going to change the sign from positive to negative, and then we're going to flip the fraction. So instead of it being 5 over 4, it's going to be 4 over 5. So let's look at another example. Let's say that C, line C, is perpendicular to line D. And the slope of line C, we're going to say it's negative 7 over 5. If these two lines are perpendicular, then the slope of line D is going to be positive 5 over 7. So you need to find the negative reciprocal of the slope. So you change the sign and flip the fraction. Now let's focus on this problem. 
So we want to write the equation of the line that's parallel to this one. So the slope of this line, let's call it line A, is positive 3 over 5. The slope of the line that we're trying to find, let's call it line B, that's going to be negative, and then we need to flip the fraction, 5 over 3. So this is the slope that we're going to use in the formula. So let's write our point slope formula. y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. And we want the equation that passes through the point 1 comma 2. So y1 is 2, m is negative 5 over 3. and x is 1. So let's distribute the fraction. So this is going to be negative 5 over 3 times x, and then negative 5 over 3 times negative 1, that's positive 5 over 3. Now let's add 2 to both sides. So right now we're going to have y is equal to negative 5 over 3x plus 5 over 3 plus 2. Now 2, I'm going to change that into a fraction. 2 is the same as 2 over 1. And if we multiply the top and the bottom by 3 over 3, we get 6 over 3. So 2 is the same as 6 over 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So I'm going to replace the 2 with 6 over 3 because now... I can add the two fractions since they have the same denominator. So 5 plus 6 is going to be 11. So this is the equation of the line that passes through the point 1, 2, but it's perpendicular to this line. As you can see, here the slope is positive 3 over 5. Here is the negative reciprocal of that. It's negative 5 over 3. And we can also check our work by plugging in the point 1, 2. So if we replace y with 2, and if we replace x with 1, if both sides of the equation are equal to each other, then we know that we have the right answer. So negative 5 over 3 times 1 is just negative 5 over 3. And I'm going to continue this over here. If we add negative 5 plus 11, we get 6. And 6 divided by 3 is 2. So the fact that both sides of the equation are the same tells us that this point is indeed on this line. So that's it for this video. Now you know how to write the equation of a line that passes through a point and that is either parallel or perpendicular to some other line and you also know how to check your work to see if you have the right answer.